Okay, so this is very exciting. quiet again I can try to film. I have four new brushes here. One is a Casaneo. This one is a hybrid between a quill where's my number zero um, and a rigger. <laughs> That's what I have. So it's got very long hair, but it's got the belly of the quills. We'll see how it works later on. And I am extremely excited to show you these Da Vinci's. This is um, Da Vinci Collineo. It's a new line of um, imitation Kolinsky. If the Kazaneo is a um, synthetic Kazan squirrel, the Kolineo is synthetic Kolinsky sable. So I have three brushes here. One is a number eight round, one is a number two round, and one is a um, a liner, a rigger, sized zero. It's tiny. They are beautiful. They are full of soap or glue or something. So I will take them all to the sink and try them out. Okay, let's try again. So Da Vinci makes beautiful brushes, but it's almost like they keep them secret. I happen to know about both the new Casaneo and the very new Collineo completely by chance. I watched, I think, a workshop that Da Vinci published that showed the the Casaneo Riga Quill, I don't know how to call it, this nice hybrid. 
And I think there they mentioned the Collineo. They do have a short video about the Collineo in the web in the YouTube channel, sorry. But these are I haven't seen anyone who tried them yet and I'm so curious. So the lovely Cassaneo I'm putting aside for now. And let's try these. I have to say I have not used um, natural hair Kolinsky sable so I really don't know what it feels like. I can only judge it but by my other brushes. Let's get some color on it. Oh I'm treating it like it's holy. I have a pink and brown mix here, maybe let's do it like this so you can see some of my palette. Okay, stroke one. I'm taking a mixture of pinks and a bit of brown as well. Let's see if I just added water from the jar. It still skips a bit. This is completely loaded. Do you see the drip? It doesn't fall off, but I can see a little drop stuck to the tip. So it's full of water. I like this keeping. See the tip. It's quite even. So it feels nice. The hair is quite soft. Does it hold the shape? A little bit. It flattens. You see? So it does hold the shape a little bit. Let's see with um thicker paint if I get something different here. Flatten it back to shape. Oh, excuse me, my light here. It's make, causing a lot of shadows. Let's try this way. I hope I don't block the light. I'm really enjoying the mixes of pinks and browns lately. Okay, so there's there doesn't seem to be a lot of um, water holding capacity, which I usually don't care about. It's not like I need to, I'm, I have no problem dipping again and again. 
but there's quite a lot of skipping so far. Okay, so I still have uh, paint in here, not, not much. Depends on where I point the brush, I guess. I want to compare it to my heritage, my Princeton heritage, but I don't have a comparable size. The Heritage is my favorite, one of my top favorite brushes. It's a synthetic as well, also quite elastic. I do have a number two Heritage, which we can try with the Collineo, although it's um it's more difficult for me to judge them in such tiny sizes um, i'm wondering what else i can show you with the number eight while i have it I'm not sure let's try really thick paint and let's try to get really fine tips on both ends. And the white belly. So it seems that when I have thicker paint on, it's better with um, tips. And if I have a very watery mixture, Let's try the same. At least that um, when I lift the brush, I have more trouble creating the tip. It has a nice tip, but um, when I just when I initially place the brush on the paper, let's try an opposite stroke away from my body. Yeah, it's the same. It's very pleasant. It's very pleasant. The um, feel of the brush on the paper is nice. Um, I keep wondering where to hold this. It doesn't usually happen to me with other brushes, but somehow, maybe it's this very wide, wide area in the handle, and also it's not round. It's um, got the um, hexagonal shape like the pencils do. So I'm, I'm not used to that, I suppose. They did it so it doesn't roll off the table, which is great. It's just strange for me not being sure where to hold it. I'm drawn to um, instinctively to hold it closer to the to the um, um, ferrule. I like that I can get a rounded edge, a fine tip, but also a rounded tip. 
So what happens is that I'm clo holding it really close. That's strange. What brush do I have in a similar size? Oh, I have um, have an Aqua Elite, a long one. This is also a number eight. So they seem quite similar. The um, Aqua Elite is more springy. Not the um, Collineo is softer. Let's try it in a different shade. So we can compare. And um, the handle is less hefty, which I personally like. I think that's um, very much a personal preference. If you like um, um, a weightier um, handle or a tool, or if you prefer it to be light, if you like it to be um, larger or thinner. Definitely spring here. So I'm not, I'm not a fan of the um, of this wide area. I'm not comfortable holding this wide area, but that could be just me. I'm not comfortable holding it too far away. Don't have as much control, so I'm staying here with the um, with the print stone I can hold it in the wide area which is not as wide and is round. I suppose if they have um, travel brushes from this line, the Collineo, they might have um, a different body. Have we seen enough of the number eight? Okay, this twirl emotion that I like so much doesn't really happen here. It's hard for me to stick the whole belly, the side to the paper. And I need it to be extremely wet. Let's see again. Okay. So if I have a lot of water, I can get a full area without skipping, but I lose the tips. Let's try a more watery mix. Fully, fully loaded. Okay, so it's not the brush for this here booking. I can live with that. I think it will be nice to to color in shapes. I want to try if I can get really thin to utilize the tip, really thin lines. Okay, that always depends on the um, thickness of the paint that you have on. And look how closely I'm holding it now to get those fine lines.
try straight up. Hello little Colinelle. How are you? <laughs> this is really a detailed brush. Okay, the color is fading, but it still holds paint. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Sideways. I can make really nice S curves with it. Let's try away from my body and this is fully loaded. Lovely. My hand is very shaky but it's nice. Now I want to compare it to the Princeton. I'll use the same blue that I used with um, Aqualite. This is a brush that I really like. So the heritage I think is softer than the Collineo. Let's try 
the liner now. I only have one, a heritage one, a number two. We've seen it before. Where is it? There's a huge difference between a number two and a zero here. Do you see them? I? Let's put them like this so you can see better. And again, the body of the brush is much thicker and has more weight. We're in the collinear line. No, it doesn't have more weight. It's just wider, bigger. So let's try it. Not, I don't have the steadiest hand. But let's try. Oh, it's lovely. It's so nice. Makes me calm. <laughs> let's see if I can um, outline a shape somewhere. But that has to do with uh, my control, not just the brush. blob so see what that makes oh this is so enjoyable so with the number eight it seemed to me just my first impressions I may be jumping to the wrong conclusions that the tip is finer when I have thicker paint. Let's see now if I have more runny, watery paint. Let's see how my lines come out. The same, <laughs> just very watery. <laughs> It's quite enjoyable. If you're interested in creating peacock feathers, <laughs> this might be the brush for you. Maybe I will. Okay, so these are the three. Colinero. This page doesn't look very pretty, but that's fine, we're just testing them out. What do I think? They have a really nice feeling when they touch the paper. It makes me feel smooth and relaxed. <laughs> That's how I can describe it. I don't like the, um, the hefty handles, the big handles. But the brushes feel lovely, the hair feels lovely. They're not as soft as my heritage, if anyone knows the heritage and can compare them. But they're not as, um, as springy as the 
they are quiet. They are quiet. I, I, I'm not. Uh, I don't like them so much. Not the the rounds anyway. The small rounds. So yeah, it feels nice. The holding thing is strange for me for some reason. This one I'm holding about the connection between the ferrule and the handle, the wood. So my thumb is about the, um, the two closing lines of the metal, right? And when I hold it for backstroke, I'm holding at the, the wide area of the brush. Yes. Now, with the colonel. So I'm holding it the same area. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the handle, but that might be a very personal preference. You may love it, and you may love that it doesn't fall off your table. Now I have to say that the edges of the handle, they're smoothed out, so they're not rough um, angles. They have like a rounding to them. Hope you can see. Still, somehow I don't like it and with the smaller brushes it doesn't disturb me as much because they're smaller. So I still feel this shape but I like the thinner handle. And with larger brushes, I don't know, I don't know what it is. So let's try again a first impression conclusion. Of my three brushes, my three collineos, a number eight round, number two round and a zero liner. I like the hair. It's, um, it's got a softness to it, but it's not too soft. And yet, it's not very springy. Again, we're talking about grey values, it's somewhere in the middle. The hairs feel nice. They've got a softness and a bit of um, flexibility to them, which is satisfying. I enjoy the way they felt on the paper, their interaction with the paper. Personally, with the larger number 8, I am not very comfortable with a um, wide handle. That, that could be just me and my per very personal preference. 
and I'm excited for Da Vinci. <laughs> Congratulations. Let me know if you get these brushes. Of course i not affiliated. I bought these with my own money and this is my personal opinion that I'm telling you here. And if you have an opinion about these or if you have any qu if you consider buying them and have any questions right let me know I'm ha I'm here and I'm always happy to to share what I know to try things and to hear about your experiences thank you have a wonderful day